Hey there ladies and gents, my name is Sneaky Magoo and I'm here once again on the world of madness. Look at it. And my face. It's my face. Look at my face. Anyway, um, so here today, just, uh, just watched Drad's new video. Um, and I uh, thought I should put up a quick response, really. Um, so... Here we go, boop, and boop, I pressed the wrong button there, screenshot saved, yeah. Okay, so as you can see, I got myself Buck and Quill, because um, something may have happened to the one he left. Ha. Huh. That was weird. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna be just I uh, put in my writing desk specially for this. So <clears throat> let's take a seat and um, begin writing. Uh, dear sir. Oh no, dear <laughs> sir slash madam, madam. Dear sir slash madam, I read your cease and decade order with great interest. I understand wholeheartedly why you would take offence to me placing powered rails in a chest and then forgetting about them. I agree to your terms and will no longer give handouts of powered rails. You may keep the rails that I have so clumsily placed into that chest as a peace offering, as I have no further use of them. Kind regards, Sneaky. Kiss, kiss. P.S. Uh, you may wish to check your warehouse. Rails have a tendency to disappear. Or is it duplicate? I forget. and desist. I think that's right. <laughs> I've probably fucked that up. It doesn't look right to me. Ah! <laughs> Freaking dyslexia. It is decent. Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, you're probably calling me an idiot for putting the C in the instead of S. Well, you know what? <laughs> Screw you, dyslexia. Which wants to cease and desist? <sighs> right. We'll pop that in Drad's tunnel, uh, seeing as he was so kind to place it in mine. Um, excuse me, gents. We will put it in his dry chest. Um, you know what? We'll clear some space around it. He'd want that. Mm. If we just go boop, 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 uh, split those in half and just uh, go whoop, 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 whoop. And pop that there. So it's a little bit more noticeable. 
Good. Right. So there's your response to the cease and desist, sir. I hope everything is okay. So, uh, let us... Ow. You guys dispersed quickly. Anyway, um, so that's that taken care of. If you want to see what he wrote in the cease and desist, you'd need to check his... Um, yeah, check his video out. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. So... Right, um, as you can see, this is the nether hub. Um, yeah, I spent an entire day making it. This was added later to get rid of the ghasts, because um, it's carpeting, so they can't spawn on carpets, apparently. The reason why there are pigmen is because of this and that, which I put in as a centerpiece because I kind of like it. I thought having like the whole train station looking thing with the nether trying to break in was kind of cool, but you know, it's, yeah, it probably looks better in some kind of texture pack. I, I sort of like it, like, but hate it at the same time. I don't know. But yeah. Um, anyway, uh, so Chad's got his little area because he's building a rail shop here in the nether. Uh, I've got Gladric who's started putting down rails, I guess. He's also made a big gas tunnel while the rest of us have one by ones. Uh, short stuff, new member, forgot to mention. Um, <laughs> he's he's um, made a start with his tunnel. Uh, he does have an area actually, uh, past the other. Again, this is mine. Long ass tunnel, power rails everywhere, detector rails to activate them both ways. Uh, I've got gamma bombs, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. 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 Pretty good. Uh, then we've got Sparks, who has actually got his area, so he's done like. He, he goes up that way, then that way ish. Uh, twinkles, which twinkles, twinkles, goes down and turns right and then right and left and right. I, she's got a very twisty, turny kind of tunnel. Um, mine is pretty much a straight sort of thing because I, unlike the rest of the guys, I stayed in spawn until we made the nether hub. So I thought, you know what, once I get to the nether, I dig and dig and dig until I get to my favourite number, which is 1337. Build a portal, see where I turn up. And I will show you in just one moment. See you in a bit. And we're here. So, um, this is basically a little stuck to shack on the other side of the nether so I can store stuff and cook stuff and it's gonna have all the necessary stuff and then I'm gonna be building other things uh, around um, so I'm gonna just do a quick tour of what I've got so far uh, so as you can see I've got some chests here I've got uh, all my furnaces and my crafting table got some bookshelves which I'm gonna put a enchanting table here soon um, because I'm actually working on another XP grinder for over this side of the nether uh, for me mostly because um, the custom crafting is now working I'll show that to you actually at the end of the episode, closing on the end of the episode, because I kind of want to make a creeper spawner as well, so I can get gunpowder and a lot of gunpowder. Um, it's probably going to end up lagging the server because, yeah, I'm going to be uh, excavating. Yes, excavating. Um, but yeah. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I've got books and stuff, and I'm going to be. Uh, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. 
No, I'm not going to be. I'm not going to be a bed. These are my beds on this side, just so if I die over here, I can respawn over here rather than on that side of the nether and then have to trek all the way back. Uh, I've got farms. I've got my wheat. i got my put pumpkins. Pum pumpkins? Pumpkins. Pumpkins, uh, melons, got uh, reeds, lots of reeds, potatoes, carrots. So yeah, and uh, yeah, it's all half slabs covering water. So the only water actually showing is that one over there. Um, ow! You son of a bitch! Ow! Son of a bitch! Go away! <laughs> Okay, um, but yeah, so this is my, as I say, little starter shack for this side of the nether, uh, and through here is an exit which will be, is over water, so I had to kind of, whoop, yeah, kind of had to do things. Uh, what I might actually do is have a little shanty town build a shanty town along this boardwalk just on this side and maybe try and cure some uh zombie villages so I'd have people running the stores. Um which would be kinda cool I think. Uh I don't think there's much in the way of uh stuff in the back um what what you call it? Extreme hills around here. Um, at least none that I've seen so far. Um, however, there was something interesting, uh, which I found like yesterday. Uh, haven't explored it yet, so I'm gonna go show you that once the sun rises. In fact, I'll cut to it. See you in a bit. So here it is. Uh, we have uh, a, a desert temple. Um, kind of between Mesa, a swamp, and more swamp. In this tiny little bit of desert right here, there is a, a <laughs> desert temple. How freaking weird is that? Anyway, I did enter it. I have entered it, but I haven't actually picked up what's down here so let's um ooh, hope i don't activate the tnt ooh. boop 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 and here we go okay get rid of that sweet now what do we have ooh oh my god okay two diamonds an emerald, nine, uh, six gold, one iron, and iron horse armor. Got more gold, got bones, got more gold and bones, and some rotten flesh, which I'll leave there. Gold and bones. That is actually a pretty decent haul. And then we've got the TNT down here, which, again, I will be using for excavation. go okay so now I'm gonna head back up and um, show off the custom oh, I'm good. in fact I'm gonna head to the other back to the other side of the nether uh, back to spawn uh, to show you guys the what you call it custom crafting that's it uh, so I can show you how it's done see you in a bit again Sorry, this is a bit of a jumpy, cutty kind of thing. I apologise, but, you know, it a lot's happening and I kind of really want to show it off because some of the command block stuff is super awesome. Um, such as the custom crafting. So yeah, like I say, see you in a bit. Step one. Splash potion of weakness. Step two. Find the spawner. Step three. Splash potion of weakness. I call upon the sploosh. 
Oh, an empty spawner. Step four. Rename a dropper to custom crafter. Dude. And then take. Step five. Place the custom crafter with the triangle up. Step six. Redstone in center to activate. Look at it, sparkle. Look at it! Then we just need to gather the items necessary for the creeper spawner. We need six creeper heads, two gunpowder, and an empty spawner. Yay. We put that there, put the gunpowder there and there, and that there. And look, creeper spawner. You could do the same thing for zombies and skull, uh, skeletons. Skeletons, you replace the creeper heads with skelly heads, and the zombie you replace with zombie heads, and um, what's it called? Rotten flesh. There we go. Now I'm going to destroy it. It turns back to a normal dropper, because, yeah. Screw it. And there we go. That is. Oh, I already had a dropper. Shit. Well, um, that is the custom crafting. You can also do um, a red die in the center and surround it by normal sand to make a, an eight stack of red sand, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, there we go. I've got a skeleton spawner and a creeper spawner. These will be used in the in my um, two mob grinders that I'm doing on the other side of the nether uh, so I can have unlimited bone meal um, arrows XP from the skeletons and gunpowder from the creepers and maybe even get some more creeper heads and skelly heads and then get make more spawners so that it's a it speeds up the process a bit more which would be cool yeah so that is the plan um, on the other side. And I think that is about it for this episode, at least. A um, bit of a long one, actually. Quite surprised. Um, anyways, I'm going to go like this and this. So I have been Sneaky Magoo. I will see you in the next video. And I guess I will say goodbye. Ladles, guys. Ladles.